Yeah, what's the Nino Brown crack cake? Man? I know, right? He didn't come today. <laughs> Ask him, Jeff, he need that crack cake. You know <laughs> Everybody networking and talking. That's what we want to see. Got the boss over here talking. So I said, well, where are you going to take the money out for? She said, oh, well, I'm going to just let it sit in my bank account. Because, you know, she doesn't have a desire to flip or anything like that. But she knows that that money's there. And I'm like, well. Oh, you're good. You're good. Uh, 450, 475. All right. First, we're going to do, we're going to, um, we're going to welcome y'all to the Rap Room Flips Academy. I'm going to be talking to you today, kind of informal, just telling you what we're doing. Um, we're at a location here and with Mr. Um, John Atkins, who's with Central Florida Texture and Paint. He does all the drywall for uh, rapid homes and for plenty of other people. But me and him have been working together for about four years now, going on about five. Um, this is this flip. He's the first guy to come up under the uh, Rapper Flip Home Academy. So to tell you a little bit about this house, I'm gonna let him start and then we're gonna kind of go around and ask him. Uh, we're gonna kind of go around and ask some questions because he's gonna have to take off here. But we want to get him started. The party's not going to stop when we leave. But we want to hit him with a bunch of questions of how he got this house, how he started, um, you know, what did we do, the whole bells and whistles, everything about this house. And it'll show you that you can do the same thing. Um, we just also finished with a recent flip with um, Kim and Terrence. Kim and Terrence did a flip in Barto. Um, we put the numbers out there because we want to entice more people to come in. It was a great success. Uh, acquisition of property around about $32,000, put about $75,000 into it, give or take around seventy-five dollars to eighty-five. dollars sold the property for $181,000, brought home a check after they paid off their hard money and everything for $98,000. Some of that still was part of the rehab cost, but still well, made well over $50,000. So you can do the same thing. And how do you do that? You partner with somebody like myself or anybody else who have understanding of how to flip a house. It is a process. Things can happen. But without further ado, John Atkins, take it away. <laughs> how I got this property here was basically word of mouth. I wanted to get into it. I started working with Greg. Actually, I was doing Central Florida Detection Painting. And I wanted to get into this here. So I went to his house. I don't know if it was a Bartow. I don't know what it was. It was a Robert King or mm -hmm. a Hope Road. Hope Road. And I saw him doing all these houses. I'm like, I remember you. I saw you on Facebook. And I said, I want to do this. So he didn't know. So I went on my own and just started talking to different people and just say, hey, I need to buy houses. I mean, I do have some cash. Let me, let me get into this because that's what I wanted to do. At the time, I was working with Disney. Been there for 29 years. And I just started. How many years? years. Clap it up, y'all. 29 years on one job. proposition for you. I got a house you want to take a look at. It. So I came over here and I looked at it and of course the house didn't look like this here. It was like a monster. It was crazy. And so uh, I went to the lady and I said, hey, um, I had the cash to pay for it all. She wanted $36,000 for it. And, uh, How much? So, so for this house we're standing in, she only wanted $36,000. How many of y'all think that's cheap or high? Who think it's high? That's extremely, that's extremely cheap. The reason why I say that's extremely cheap is he paid $36,000. But not only did he pay $36,000, he didn't pay $36,000 up front. I'm, 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 I'm working with you. I'm working with you. Yeah. See, but he ain't going to tell it. So he, he got to, I, I got to tell it so y'all can understand you can do it too. This is the mortgage lady. In the beginning, it was <laughs> ugly. And, um... Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me see it. Okay. Yeah, let me see it, John. Right here. There you go. 
<laughs> Across here, and there was a kitchen over there. The hot water heater was within the cabinets. Um, it, it was just a hot mess. The, the floors was, you know, you could hear about the cave in. The bathroom, it was, uh, you walking with us, I wanted to kind of show you. Yeah, go check it out, y'all. The ones who haven't checked it out. Just, so, I had money to pay for it, but I wanted to use that money to fix it up because I knew I had to put some money Stop in Stop right there. Why y'all think he did that? Why y'all think he didn't want to use his money? The lady, it's only cost $36,000. Now, $36,000 still $36,000. Some people just ain't got $36,000 to throw out there. So he partnered with the person who was selling the house, who owned the house free and clear, and that person became the bank. So that person then turned into what we call Mid-Florida Credit Union. So John talked to that person and said, hey man, I ain't got the 36,000, but I got a down payment. Could you give, let me pay you payments? And the person said, yeah. That's how you find a deal. It was not on the market and she owned it outright. So John, how much you pay her per month? Uh, 500, but I, I pay her more each month. 500 a month. And that's what she was getting out of this place from the tenant sale. So it was 500 a month. To share. How much could you rent this place for on Section 8? How many bedrooms? It's two bedroom, one bath. Okay, what's the difference between 500 and 11? 600. So every month now, John Atkins is going to make a profit of $600 a month because he only paid a lady 500. He's going to rent it out. He's going to rent it out. He's already rented it for 1150. So John is actually going to make $650 minus taxes and insurance. Taxes and insurance on this house is going to be $200 a month. So you just go from six, he was going to make what, $650? So now he only make it $450. Let's just say he make $400 because he got to do the security because he's going to put an alarm in here and everything. So now he's making $400 a month. John, what are you planning on doing once you get a tenant in here and you're making that $400 a month? Are you going to spend it every month? Cash out, refinancing. Whoa! <laughs> All right, stop right there. What is it? What is a cash out refinance? <laughs> Just tell me, cash out, cash, and taking it out of the house. That's right. There you go. Give a round of applause, y'all. That's right. What, what, what John has been getting ready to do, and we've already set up, because Tashel Payne right here, what's your number, Tashel? 863-206-6828. And she is a mortgage loan officer and also do hard money. So it doesn't have to hit your personal credit. John is gonna come over to the shell because we already got everything, all the infrastructure together. We got the general contractor right there. He's coming to come over to the shell, and he's the shell is gonna cash out refinance. How much are you gonna get? I don't know, but I'm, I'm gonna hopefully get seventy-five thousand. shell, could you explain, uh, Sabrina? Could you explain? He just doesn't get seventy-five thousand. He has to go by what? and the comps in the area. It also, the appraisal value is what the appraisal says it's worth because the cash out refinance is gonna send a company out here and they're gonna look at this house. Now with the market the way it's going right now, I'm sure this house is, let's just keep simple numbers. This house is worth, what you think it's worth? I showed it to you. Just guess. What you think? You really, you're not really, you're not really, what? Because of the area. Okay, what you think? Okay, that's a good number. I like that. She's on it. Now, now let's 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 look what she just said. She said about 150. I need y'all to remember this. An appraisal is only a matter of opinion. It's not exactly what the house is gonna sell for. Because in this market right now, people are paying what? Over the appraisal value because of the limit of the house. It's not a, enough supply for the demand. So John Atkins, let's just say he get this house appraised at $100,000. They will give him back 75% of $100,000, which is how much? 75,000. How much did he buy the house for? 36. How much have you put in here with the remodel? 30? Okay, so 40. So now he bought the house for how much? He bought it first for, for 36 and then 40. So now he bought it for 76. So you got to account for that. But when he do the cash out refinance, if it appraised at $100,000, they give him back $75,000.
So now he got all of his money back. Now, he's probably going to get more than $75,000 because it's probably going to appraise for a lot higher than $100,000. let us just say it appraised for $200,000. They're giving back 75%. That's $150,000. He got a nice payday. Now, that's what me and Tashel and Tashel husband Mooney and me and my wife, that's exactly what we do. We have a lot of rental properties. We have 14. I think Tashel got about 13 without putting her business out there. She's going to get me later. But she has rental properties, right? And she built up the rental properties. Imagine having 14 rental properties and they're $1,000 a month. That's $14,000. But now you got to pay your insurance, your taxes, and your cash out refinance. But that's a good payday. And that's why we're so passionate about teaching this. Because you can do the same thing as long as you're alongside somebody like me, John, uh, Mooney, and Tashel, Sabrina. They'd already done, done this before. So, John, talk to them about once you, yeah, go ahead. So, just to, you know, got to just that. But without all of this, I couldn't get this done without T. Gregory. And I would have there you go. Clap it up, y'all. He stepped to the plate. He stepped to the plate and said, hey, I see that you're getting started. I'll help you out. And he got the permits for me. Why is that important, John? <laughs> do y'all know what permits is, ma'am? Do you know what permits is? That's right. And if you don't, the city of Lakeland or Bartow will shut you down. I know that all too well. <laughs> I'm telling you, they'll shut you down. All right, go ahead, John. So that's the gist of it. And so, I, you know, once I got this, he doesn't know, but I'm hungry. I don't tell him everything. He's, he's my, one of my best friends, and we talk all the time. Oh, man. But I surprise him because he don't know that I have four other properties. But <laughs> they're vacant lots, and actually, about a street or two over, I have a house with a lot that I'm going to do a house and a mother law suite. So as soon as I finish this, this project right here took me forever. <laughs> and it's because, you know, I have a job, and... He got to get better with time management. I'm a referee, division one, and I do high school, I do you know, back, uh, football and basketball, so I'm here, there, everywhere. But with this, time is money. Yeah. T time is money. I lost a lot of money on this place, and this would never happen to me again. So the next one I build, it's going to be straight cash, nothing going to stop me, whatever it takes to build a house, it's boom, five months, six months done. This took me. It's a year and about eight months. Mm -hmm. So it's too long, too long. But it was a lot done in this house. This house, all the joists were in place, drywall, it was a mess. So everything is brand new. This is a wood frame. Wood frame house, yeah. So. And this is something that you just started, didn't know nothing really about. I know a little bit about it. Um, I know a little bit about it. Um, I just, I have a lot of resources. So, okay, good. Yeah, I'm yeah, a fan of having a problem. <laughs> I have a lot of resources. Uh, like I say, like T. Gregory. You know, say that word again. Start. start with an R. You have a lot of what? Resources. So if John have a lot of resources, then who you're going to flip a house. Now you have what? You got a lot of resources. You got to remember that. Because your only good is your resources that are around you. Truth be told, we have a buddy. It, um, it's a shell husband. name is Mooney. Mooney know how to flip the house. By himself, basically, right? I don't know how to flip the house by myself. So I'm gonna be in the same category as you. You know how to flip a house? Okay, so me and her in the same category. But I know how to go talk to T. Gregory. I know how to go talk to a realtor to ask him what the comps are. I know how to put it on the market because I, you know, I'm around like minded individuals. And once you do that a couple of times, then you'll understand that it's not so difficult, but at the same time, it is difficult. So, John, I. But I'm gonna say this here, Gregory. He said he don't know, but he does know. His number one thing is money. He knows how to get the money to do it. Yeah. And you can't do a flip, can't buy a house without money. So he know how to leverage credit cards. He know, oh man, I sucked up a lot for him and I gained four credit cards by just talking to him. All right, so what John had just told you is, John just told you is, there's other ways to get money in order to flip a house. Sometimes we get hard money. Sometimes we use the money that we already got in our account. But most of the time, I leverage and use credit. 
Whether I use credit cards, whether I use hard money, credit cards have what they call convenient checks. I could transfer that directly into my bank account. Okay, I just recently transferred 32,000 and some odd dollars into my bank account from my discovery card. All right, and why did I do that? I did that because I knew I was gonna make a move on something, so I'm using that money. And I have a 12 month, 0% interest. So I don't have to pay on the discover card until next year, until June. So I pulled, I, I called, I took $32,000 less than 60 days ago. And I'm gonna use that to go forward, probably buy some land or whatever. And then I'm gonna build me a duplex on it. But instead of using my money, I use the credit card money. And I have one year to pay it back or it goes up to 27% interest. So I have to beat it, beat it out for the year. But who's gonna give you $32,000 for $900, $600 for one year? Not very many people. But if you build up your credit, this is give you outs in order to be able to buy these houses and to work with the lady who own it. That's the number one thing you need. Let's get deeper into that. John, you gave her, the price was 36,000, but how much did you give her to put down? I, she asked for 10 and I gave her 16. Um, Y'all heard that? So the house went from 36,000 down to 20,000. So the house went from 36,000 cause he put down 16. So now he only owed a lady 20,000. So now his $500 a month been going now for almost two years. So if you do $500 a month times 10, that's 5,000. Do it again, that's 10,000. So now he was at 36,000, gave her 16,000, he was at 20. So John is below $10,000 right now. Um, is that a special contract or word of mouth? Hey, it was a contract, yeah. Okay. It was a, what kind of contract? Uh, Close with the lawyer office. Yes. Yeah. Of course, I got to have that paid off before I do the cash that refund. So. No, you don't. What he has to do, what he has to do when he do the way to do the cash out refinance, he's going to close with a title company. A title company is what they call an intermediary between you and the person who's buying your house. That means that somebody that does not have a fiduciary responsibility to the other person, but they have a fiduciary responsibility to you. So you pick your own title company and then you go in there and the title company going to set everything up. You don't give the person no money who you're buying the house from. You give it to the who? The title company. You give it to the person. I messed up before I gave it to the person, and they took my money. My wife told me that's what your hard-head ass get. And then I had to take them to court. It's a true story to get my money back. Never give a person money for a house. You give it to the where? The title company or the lawyer office. So the money, that there are what they call the intermediary. Intermediary is somebody that's in between the transactions. So if things get ugly, then you got to go to court and the intermediary will be there. That protects you. If you don't do that and you just give me the money and you buy the house with me direct, you don't know if I got liens on it. So then you got to be careful about that, okay? That's very important. Go ahead, John. Tell them at the stage you at now. I'm so ready to finish this place. Uh, <laughs> that's the stage. But uh, we're, we're, we're close. As you can see, uh, we try to have this ready, but there's so much going on. I like the fish and that's how to go out of my boat. So I kind of put it in. And uh, I went to get it yesterday, and of course, things weren't ready, but the guys on the way now, they directly woke to my house right now. So, uh, but right now, basically, we just got to do it. We got to finish uh, some trim. We painted the doors. Uh, all the interior doors are going to be this color here. The trim is going to be white. Um, we're going to finish up the trim, paint the trim. What's the floors, John? Uh, LVP. Uh, it just needs to be clean. <laughs> all right, LVP. In here, um, the reason why we haven't finished in here is because I developed, there was a new floor, yeah, this is a lot, we're going to do the floor, we're going to close everything out.